Hello, 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 all you beautiful people. Welcome, welcome, welcome into the Fab Fam House on this wonderful Wednesday evening. Uh, welcome in, everyone. Welcome into my kitchen this evening. We are going to be making some homemade cheese ravioli. And when I say homemade, I mean everything is from scratch. The dough, the filling, and the marinara sauce that we're going to put these raviolis in. So I hope everyone is doing wonderful. Hello, Miss Thor. Welcome in my kitchen this evening. Let's jump into the kitchen and let's get to it, okay? We have a lot to cover tonight. So I want to run through everything because uh, the marinara is cooking slowly on the stove. I want to go through that. <laughs> HB, don't make me laugh, please. <laughs> okay. Um, so, um, over on the stove behind me, um, I'll show it to you guys in a minute. I have a big pot of marinara cooking and it is the homemade marinara I've made for several of my cooking streams, but let me go over it in case you're new in here. Um, what you'll do is get a big, um, stock pot or I use an oversized, um, like skillet, a deep dish skillet. And you will put two 28 ounce cans of crushed tomatoes in your skillet. And you will put one small onion diced finely. Uh, if the onion is big, only use half of the onion diced finely, please. Um, that way you don't have too much onion. Put three cloves of garlic, two carrots finely grated, two uh, tablespoons of fresh parsley chopped, two teaspoons of basil, one teaspoon of Italian seasoning, a fourth of a teaspoon crushed red pepper flakes, which are optional if you want to spice it up a little bit. Add a teaspoon of salt and a teaspoon of pepper. Some people have told me they want more salt in theirs. That is fine, but that is all the salt we use. And just mix it together and let it, um, let it cook slowly. <laughs> um, so that is cooking on the stove. Then uh, we have our ravioli dough. I had to make that uh, ahead of time because it had a set. Um, you wrap it in some saran wrap. And it's been setting, uh, you know, closed tightly here. So what your ravioli dough is, is you take uh, right over here. Uh, it's back here. This is my tabletop mixer. Um, and you put the dough hook on it. And you will put in three cups of flour into your mixer and a teaspoon of salt and turn it on low and let the dough hook start mixing that together then you uh will add in let's see one egg at a time you're going to need four eggs but you add them one at a time and let them mix one at a time okay let the dough hook incorporate the egg into the dough and then you're going to add your olive oil which is two tablespoons of olive oil once it is mixed in, the olive oil, when it goes in, we will make a ball. It'll form a ball. It'll start forming a ball. It'll try to crumble apart, but once it's done, take it out, take some flour and mush it all together, wrap it in some saran wrap, and let it set it rest on the counter for 30 minutes, okay? Which that has been doing, <clears throat> and that gets our ravioli uh, dough. Now, I am hoping our ravioli dough does not fall apart tonight. Anything made homemade is contingent on the weather and on how it sets up. It's very touchy to make certain things homemade, like certain cakes, pastas, or anything like that. As you can see, <clears throat> my ravioli dough is wanting to crack. It is not dried out. I can push it as soft. But I'm hoping when I cut this in two and I go to roll it and form my raviolis, that it doesn't try to break apart on me. That is the hope. And... Uh, we're hoping it'll stick together. So um, that is the dough. And for right now, I'm going to set the dough over here. I usually make beef raviolis. That is a Jeff's favorite. Um, <clears throat> and that consists of beef and Italian sausage and a lot of seasoning. But tonight, I'm going to make homemade cheese raviolis. Puff prefers the cheese, and uh, cilantro can't eat a lot of Italian sausage, so I am going to just make some cheeses, show y'all how to make cheese raviolis. So let's pull our ravioli press to the side, and we're going to mix up our <clears throat> ravioli, cheese ravioli mixture in this bowl, okay? What you'll see in the bowl right now is I took some cream cheese, 
four ounces and set it at room temperature till it got completely soft. Um, so that is four ounces. So it's half a pack. If you get just a normal pack of cream cheese, if you cut the cream cheese in half, that is half a pack of cream cheese right there. Okay. So, um, let me see, let me turn my camera a little bit. So that is half a pack of cream cheese softened. Okay. Setting in the bowl right there. Then the next thing we're going to put in is um, some ricotta cheese. And you need eight ounces of ricotta cheese. I prefer to get the uh, part skim milk. Uh, just I've got the local Publix brand. It'll work fine. But I get part skim milk so it's not as rich because ricotta is a very rich cheese used in Italian cooking. So um, I'm just going to use the part skim. And the smallest ricotta at the grocery is 15 ounces. And we only need eight ounces of it. So I'm just going to take out eight ounces in this container here. So let me get the top off of this. Eight ounces will be approximately half of the container. So I'm going to scoop that in there. Ricotta, if you've never used it, it has a different texture. It'll kind of remind you of like cream cheese icing in a way. All right, there's our eight ounces of ricotta. Then we are going to add in a half a cup of shredded mozzarella and half a cup of provolone shredded. Here's the thing, Pro shredded provolone is hard to find at the grocery store. And, uh, so I had to get, uh, I was going to get them to chunk cut it over at the deli, but it was so lined up that I just got sliced provolone and ripped it into tiny pieces and made a half a cup of provolone. So I'm going to put that in there. And then I used my grater on the end of my mixer and I grated up some fresh mozzarella. So I'm going to take a half a cup out of this bowl. And I'm one that just kind of doesn't make it even on the cheese. Let it overflow a little bit. I feel like you can never have enough cheese in anything. We do. So let me do that. And uh, I'm going to put my lid back on the ricotta left here. Now, we are going to put in one egg. Let me reach behind me and get my egg here. So let me break my egg into this. There we go. And uh, let me see, I feel like I need to move this camera just a hair. There we go. So I have my egg and then I'm going to put one and a half teaspoons of a dried parsley. So I have my measured out parsley over here. One and a half teaspoons of dried parsley. And just a dash of basil. Most old recipes don't have a measurement so i just sprinkle a little basil on there okay so sprinkle a little basil and we're going to mix all this together and this is your filling for your cheese raviolis so uh i'm gonna see if i can mix this without getting my hand mixer out because the cream cheese is kind of soft sometimes i can get it to mix without having to use the hand mixer You want to get everything well incorporated here. Some people don't put the egg in. Uh, they leave that out. The egg is supposed to help it incorporate well. So 
so that looks like that is pretty good. So there is the ricotta cheese filling. I'm going to set this back here behind us. Now, here comes the fun part. We are going to try to see if we can get this dough to work tonight. So I'm going to take a little bit of my flour, sprinkle it on my clean working surface here that I cleaned off so I can just use this. And I'm going to unwrap my dough. And uh, let's see. I'm going to cut it in half. I just have like a little, you know, kitchen utensil here, cutter. So I'm going to cut this in half. And you only work with half of it at a time. Okay. And I'm going to wrap it back up the other half. Make sure you wrap it and tuck this around wrap good. So it doesn't get air to it. So it doesn't harden up, okay? While you're working with this. Now, I'm just going to press this into a ball. And I want to make my top and bottom of my ravioli dough out of this one thing. So what I do is I just kind of form it into a tube. Just work with it. Form it into a tube. And then take your cutter and cut it in half again. So you have two halves. And we're going to work with one half here. Now, you all have seen me, if you've been in here for a while, make homemade spaghetti noodles. If not, what I did was bought an attachment that goes on to the end of my kitchen mixer. It looks like this. It is a dough press. The center flattens the dough. This side makes spaghetti noodles. And this side makes fettuccine noodles. So what I'm going to do is we are going to run the dough through the part that flattens. Let me see if I can get this up and maybe you guys can watch. Okay. So I'm going to take this half piece and I'm going to try to flatten it here. I'm just going to keep it in the circle, kind of work with it a bit. I'm hoping that it doesn't crack on me. We may have to mess with it for a minute. I rubbed some olive oil on it when I put it in the wrap to see if I could get it from cracking. And if you have one of these, you start the setting. This like right here has numbers. It starts at one and goes to eight on mine. I'm going to start the flattening setting on two. And we're going to go from there. Bring! I hope you're feeling well today. Had another good day, I hope. Let me see if I can overlap that. I'm not liking how that's breaking. Okay, we're going to see what happens. So I'm going to turn this on number two, okay? And the you don't have a, anything on uh, your, kit, your mixer itself, like a whisk or anything. Just make sure that's off. And this operates this. So I'm on two. And I'm going to try to push this through here, okay? I may have to turn it up a little bit on to four if I can't get this to go through. Watch your fingers. It's going to pull it through kind of weird the first time. Okay. Yeah, that broke off like I thought it might. Now I'm going to fold it in half. See if I can get it to straighten up some. Sometimes I have to work with a knife. Let me get a knife here. I know y'all can't see the table. I wanted you to see the flattener right now. But I'm trimming a side off. And I flattened it. And I'm going to leave it on two and run it through again.
Now I'm going to change this to three. And what it's doing is it's going to get it thinner and thinner, okay? Now, let me put it back through here. Four, and you're only going to go to five for ravioli. All right, I'm going to cut the end off here. It's too little. Okay, and I'm going to go to five. Okay, now we're going to turn that off. Let me move you back down to my table here. Okay, so let's see what we can do here. We're going to try to see how many of these we can get in here. This is kind of a loss. Okay. Now this is our ravioli mold here. You need to make sure you have a good amount of flour on it. Because if you do not, the ravioli sticks. Sometimes it even tries to stick when you do have a good amount of flour on it. I really douse it down. Okay. Now, I'm going to take my dough. See how many I can get out of this. Probably, probably just this the end right here. Then you take this. It's kind of like an insert push, and you push down, okay? Be really easy. You may want to put flour if you feel like it's not enough flour. And see, that pushes those down. I'm not going to be able to use this one. It's ripped. So I'm just going to use the ones I can, okay? So I'm going to let those set right there. And... I'm going to take this mixture and we're going to try to get it to go through. And I'm going to put this back on two. And let's scoot this bad boy back over here. Let me move you guys again. We're going back up here to the pasta maker. And I'm going to try to get this to go through, okay? <clears throat> it is a lot of work to make ravioli. I'm not going to lie. But it tastes so good. See if we can get this to go through. Like I said, I think my dough is a little drier tonight because of the weather. Normally it's a little more flexible, I guess you could say. So I'm just working with it to get it to go through the first time here. Oh, you're fun, Heather. <laughs> not a problem. You're not late. You're just in time. This booger wants to be a pain tonight. I usually don't have to wrestle with it this much. Because the dough is usually a little more flexible. Just got to get it to go through once, and then we're going to fold it in half anyways.
Yes, I heard about it, Heather. Hopefully we don't get much. Okay. There we go. Whew. Now I'm going to fold it in half. And I'm going to take my knife and trim the side off. So all I did was I took it and I folded it in half and now I'm going to put it back through, leave it on two, let it go back through. And they're going to have to cut the end piece off, which is normal. I just take it and trim it a little bit. <clears throat> now, go into three. Four, and finally five. Kind of have to feed it a little bit. That piece did way better than the first piece. That is a way better piece. Whoops, my camera wants to fall over. And let's turn our mixer off and move it to the side. Okay. So. All right. Now, I'm going to take my cheese filling that I made over here. And you're going to put a little, <coughs> excuse me, dollop in each one of these. I can't use those, I don't think. So I'm just going to use a spoon. And you don't want to put too much or it'll bust out of the ravioli. Usually I can get all 12 of these to fill, but... Like I said, some of them ripped. Okay, so I'm just going to do those, and let's see, probably only need about right there. Oh, you're fine, Brian. No biggie. Okay, so I'm going to put this over these. And I'm going to push this down, okay? I can see where they're at. Do I have one in there? Okay. Now, I also have a ravioli wheel. <clears throat> whoa, whoa, buddy. There we go. It looks like this. A straight cutter and a ravioli cutter, okay? And... Uh, I'm just going to work with this. Some of this dough I'll lose. Because I couldn't get them all to work, of course. Now I'm going to flip it upside down. Okay. I'm going to push down. And we're going to hope this had enough flour on it. And do not stick. Yay, Brian! Thank you for the 23 months. Let's go. 
Snow Yuck Thor. I'm going to take my straight edge. I'm going to cut that off. I'm going to cut the edge here. Okay. Now I'm going to try to start lifting this up. There we go. Voila, it was flowered enough. So I can see where the ones that have the stuffing in it, these don't. So I'm going to take the ravioli cutting edge, okay? It made you Reese up again? Yeah, it's not going to charge you. Uh, Brian, it did that to me and somebody streaming the other day. I think it's just the notey. It doesn't, it doesn't charge you but one time. Hey, Frank. So I'm going to take the ravioli edge and we're going to cut these out like raviolis. Don't get them too close or you're feeling a pop out. Okay, because as it is, I think that one might, oh, that one don't have one. Okay, that's the one that didn't have one. I usually have a cookie sheet I deal with, but I'm just going to set these to the side. One ravioli. Let me trim this side. Doing this also seals the edges. So there's one ravioli. Okay. Two, three. So we ended up with two, four, six, seven raviolis out of that one, okay? So there you go. Seven raviolis. Now I'm going to take this dough and re-flatten it out. Let's take our little raviolis up here with our cheese filling. I don't know why that cheese filling squirted from somewhere. There is our little cute raviolis. Yes, raviolis can be cute. And I'm just trying to get all this dough back together. After you mess with this dough a little bit, it's going to start getting tough on you. Good, uh, Brian. Are you still in ICU, Brian? Or did they let you have a room yet? Okay. Turn my mixer back on. I love these attachments you can get for your KitchenAid mixer. I have a cheese grater and the pasta maker. <clears throat> There's so many. Okay, Brian, I was wondering 
And I tried to send you something, Brian. I'll just tell you. Me and Jeffro called up there and tried to have something sent from the Fab Fam to your room. And apparently they won't let you have flowers in ICU. <clears throat> so let's see. Okay. Now, come on, grab the dough. Oh, hey, Destroyer. I'll do what I want to, Brian. Don't tell me what to do. But I was mad. I called the hospital. Since you told me where you were. Yes, HB, we need to. He needs to get better. I'm sure he wants out of that bed and go home. Brian, are they going to have to do surgery and put your trait back in, buddy? There it comes. Man, it's wanting to be a booger on the first go around with that dough tonight. <laughs> Brian, true. I should have told them, you need to let me send flowers to my friend's room. I have fireflies. Oh, good, 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 Brian. Good to hear. That's excellent news. Can you talk yet? Oh, come on. This thing is going to rip bad. There we go. I hate my dough with more whatever tonight and not a survival. There we go. Let me fold this boy in half here. <clears throat> Priming it up with my knife here. Okay, okay, Brian. Well, good. I'm glad you could talk today. Okay, so uh, trying to push this down good, so maybe it won't rip. Okay, I pushed it together, folded it in half, and I'm going to put it back through on two. I'm afraid this is going to rip too much. I may have to redo this one. Yeah. Come on, come on. I hate it when my dough's silly. Okay, I'm just pushing this together. <clears throat> 
Sometimes I roll it out with the rolling pin a little bit if it wants to be a stinker. <clears throat> Let me get my measuring cup here and push it down. Oh my, come on. Don't be a stinker. I may have to get my other dough out. <laughs> this is starting to get really tough. When you mess with it too much, it does that. Oh, I'm sure you could do that, Brian. You can actually put the wrappers in there, maybe, too. You can make that, those homemade wrappers, too. They're a little thinner dough than this. You could probably thin this dough out really thin. You know, you can make fr fried raviolis with this, too. You have to uh, boil them still for just a little bit, like three minutes, and then take them out of the water, and then you bake them in the oven, or you can fry them and make fried raviolis. Gosh. This is being a pain tonight. You can also, when you make this dough, which I should have got done it, I have an Italian flour that they use, and I half it with regular flour, and it makes it so much pobble. I do it with my pasta, my spaghetti. I think I should have done it with this. I'm going to get my other dough here. Having a little trouble with that. All right, let's get out this other dough that I have wrapped here. And then I'm going to cut a piece of it off. I'm tired of messing with that, though. Okay, let me push this down. All right, let's see. There we go. That went through easy. I'm going to fold it in half. That's what it's supposed to do, is just pull it through nice and easy. There we go. Now I'm going to take it to three. I'm going to trim the edge off here a little bit. And four. And five.
I'm just going to send it through five again. You know what I wish I had? Like this flattener that goes on this. I wish I had one of them big industrial ones that sits on your counter that you can put a huge wad of dough through because I do cake decorating and I would love to put my fondant in it. Okay. Back down here with our raviolis. Let me get some flour. Let's put it all over this again. Now, let's see how many we can get this time. Pushing that down. <laughs> For Thor, same thing. There we go. <coughs> there we go. Now let's get our cheese ravioli mixture. Now, a cool thing about these is if you make, I don't have, I'll have to make some more dough uh, off stream, but you can make these up and see how I cut those out. You can put them on a cookie sheet, put some flour or cornmeal down on the cookie sheet a little bit, sprinkle it and lay those on the cookie sheet and put them in the freezer until they're frozen hard and then pull them off and put them in how many ever zip bags or or uh, if you have one of those uh, air sealer things, put it in there and freeze them. And you can just pull them out and cook them in your water for dinner whenever you want. Because these make up quite a few. I think I might have put too much in that one. Okay, <clears throat> let me stir my marinara sauce back here. I put this sauce on about 5 p.m. Central Time. So it's been cooking for a uh, three and a half hours. So it's really, really good. Okay, now we're gonna pull these to the side and I'm going to See about some more dough here. <laughs> I'm saying Thor, go to Chick-fil-A, get some food. Okay, okay. <clears throat> I cut this off, so I'm just pushing it off. So that's going to make us eight raviolis, it looks like. So after this, I'm going to show you how to cook it. Okay, let's turn this on. I need to turn it back to two. Let's turn this on. Now, take my dough, take my dough. You're supposed to take all the dough machine, spitting it out.
Gonna fold it in half again. I'm just leaving it on two settings. I'm trying to get this to merge. There we go. Three setting. Four. And I'm going to put it on five. She went and got a milkshake, Brian, yesterday and a cookie. But she didn't get no food. All right. Now, let's see if we can... Get this on here. All right. Now, let's bring this over here. There we go. I got that on there. You just take your hands and push it down the seam. There's not a ravioli there. Okay. You get my cutter here. I know there's nothing back here. So I'm just going to push that down. Now, I'm going to flip this over. There we go. Chocolate. I think she got a chocolate, Brian. Cilantro was telling her how the cookies and cream was really good. <coughs> There's nothing in that one. Okay. There's nothing in that one. Okay. One, three, four, five. There's my eight. The cookies and cream was really good. I was surprised. Come on, let go, let go. There we go. Now, what I'm going to do here, move some of this out of my way. You know, I'm not a strawberry shake person. Okay, I've got some water right here with a little bit of salt. And I'm going to turn this up and get this boiling. Okay. Let's push this. Because my goo's coming out. All right, I got one ravioli right here, so I'll, that's empty. Okay. I don't like the cookout shakes. They're more like ice cream. 
I think they're way too thick. You can't even shrink them up a straw. My sister told me to go there and get one because she liked them. I didn't care for them. The ice cream tastes wonderful, but you can't slurp it up a straw. You have to eat it. So I was like, yeah, that's not a milkshake to me. Yeah, I only like the cookies and creams from there too, Brian. I agree. Not really a cookie and cream person. I like to go to cookout because they have cheer one. <laughs> All right. There we go. There's another ravioli. There we go. Now. Yeah, I wouldn't drink milkshakes if it was only strawberry. I love strawberries, but I hate strawberry milkshakes. My grandpa, that was his favorite. I used to get them from him. He liked them at Sonic. He was like in his 80s and... I would go to Sonic and get a strawberry milkshake for him every now and then. I don't know what that is, Brian. <laughs> okay. So we got our water heating up right there, okay? Let me turn that this way some. Oh, uh, speaking of that, Brian, today's uh, Puff had his back appointment. And when we got done, we went by Arby's because they have the limited time mint chocolate, the mint chip shake right now at uh, Arby's. And he loves mint. And uh, it's a limited time thing at Arby's. So when you get out, you'll have to check that out, Brian. It's it's actually pretty good, and I'm not a huge mint person, but they put Andy's mints on top of it, too, and Puff let me take a drink. It was really good. He got a large one. And, of course, there's the shamrock shape uh, from McDonald's, but I honestly think, uh, I honestly think the uh, mint shake from Arby's is better, Brian, if you've never had it, or I think you just said you've had it. But it's definitely really good from there. I like it. <laughs> My favorite is just a classic chocolate shake. I love me a chocolate shake. Okay, water, come on. Get the bowl in here. Let me crank her up. You gotta get your water boiling before we can drop the pasta in. Let me get my plate and something to get this out with.
You can only get those at Sonic, can't you, Brian? Hey, Gertie, good to see you. Hope you're doing good. Brian, do you have a marble slab? I don't know if you guys have that up there in New Jersey, but marble slab, you know, they make their ice cream homemade, and they have a regular cheesecake, and you can put mix-ins. It's so good. Oh, they're so good, Brian. So while that's still trying to boil, let me bring my pot over here of spaghetti sauce. Let me just show you here. This is the homemade marinara that's been cooking back here on the stove. So that's what it looks like. And that is what we're going to use for our ravioli. Shoo, that thing stinks. I think it's going to set the smoke detector off. I'm going to reach behind me and turn this unit on. I just turned my marinara off. <clears throat> Well, now I know if I need something to heat up, I need to turn that thing on early. I'm going to turn this off. It stinks. I'm going to put it on the stove back here. Let me take this off. And I'm going to put it on my stove unit back here. And see if I can get this thing boiling. Mmm, shoo. It must be that top surface burning off. <clears throat> yeah, Gertie, we got a new Keurig in the fall. And my sister told me to run hot water through it. And I ran like... Four containers of just water through that thing before we made coffee in it because she said it would taste like plastic. My sister told me that. I don't drink coffee. Um, so I did that so they would have it like run through it. And then she had some nasty K cups she was going to throw away. And I just ran it through it <laughs> and poured it out so it would help it out. But this thing smells terrible, and it's hot, too. It doesn't get that hot, though. That's good. I guess, I mean, I used it the other day on stream for frying the wontons. I used the tiny unit. But maybe I should have turned it on high, like, for a hot minute there. You know, my mom used vinegar, white distilled vinegar HB for a lot of stuff, too. She she really liked to do that. Okay, so this water is heating up really fast back here. Okay, we're about ready. Starting to get little bubbles here. About ready to start dropping some of this ravioli in there. And what you're going to do, sometimes it's, it's four to six minutes, depending on the water. You drop these in a few of them, okay? And they're going to float to the top when they're done. And they'll change a little bit of color. Um, because, see, these are kind of like a just a darker dough color. So they'll change a little bit of color. So I'm just going to start putting a few of them into the water. I wanted you all to be able to see this, how this floats and stuff but that unit is acting up I think what I'll do is just turn it on and let it just burn off or something one day
And maybe I should have already turned it on before I finished the last batch of raviolis, too. <clears throat> so it could get hot enough. Shoo we about burnt my finger. I'm just going to put seven of these in there. They're just laying on the bottom of the water boiling right now. And I have like a slotted spoon that's like this. And you're going to use that to kind of drip out the, the liquid. So what we're going to do here, let me show you. I'm going to move these over. And uh, I have my plate. I'm going to dip out my marinara, okay? I'm going to dip my marinara out and we're going to put it on the plate. All right, <clears throat> so it's like this. I just rub my marinara around. Let's see. Move my camera here. There we go. Okay, I'm just kind of moving these around in the water where they don't stick together. And in the water, like I said, you just put about a teaspoon of salt because <clears throat> that helps the, the pasta to cook and not stick together. You're so silly, Frank. <laughs> okay, come on, raviolis. Let me get something to set this on. They're starting to rise a little bit. We are almost there. Almost ready to get them off. You hungry, Jeffro? Oh, guess what, Jeffro? Brian got his trait put back in today. And he can talk now. And he says he's feeling better today. Yeah, that's the bad thing, Jeffro, is Brian hasn't eaten in a week. They've not let him eat, so he's just getting a fluid bag. <clears throat> so I'm sure he does feel hungry. <laughs> oh, nice, cilantro. Yes, Brian. Jeffro re-downloaded Fortnite just for you so we can play Fortnite. Yeah, did you see that, Thor? Did you see all the shorts we've been doing? We've been starting to do shorts and upload them to YouTube. And <clears throat> we got a TikTok, y'all. We'll have to add it to <clears throat> the socials. But uh, we got a TikTok to do our little upload shorts, too. And I like the shorts. Brian Cilantro uploaded a short yesterday of you. It's funny, Brian. Yesterday, he did a short, and it's the one where you were muted and Cilantro was talking on stream, and then you said something and Cilantro screamed because your mic was up. Brian, it's so funny. It's art and getting quite a few likes on the shorts on YouTube. And then he uploaded the one where... We said Frank don't talk enough, and he went blah, 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 blah. It's hilarious. Okay, ravioli, done. Okay, right here, ravioli. 
floating to the top done done so we have our marinara our homemade marinara here and I'm going to take these out two at a time and just sit here and kind of make sure the water is dripped off it was hilarious Frank I've never laughed so hard I still laugh at that one <clears throat> all right Oh, the deer meat. Can you die from lemonade? What the heck, Frank? All right. <clears throat> now, let me put a little bit more. Alrighty. I wish we had some of our old clips, Brian. They were hilarious from like chapter two, I think. We're going to put some mozzarella on top. I put a little bit of more of the marinara. This is the grated up mozzarella, grated up. And let's see. They were gold. What was gold? Oh, are you talking about our old clips? Oh, yes, Elantra, you should. That would be funny. <clears throat> That's the one Chrissy Tina played on her stream because she thought it was funny. I think that's the one Brian starts laughing in the clip. I think we still have the clip where, where I, got, I killed some people from the car and Brian was driving and Barry clipped it, I think. <clears throat> now... I have some uh, Parmesan and Romano cheese that I got from Publix. And I'm just going to sprinkle this on top. There we go, guys. Homemade cheese ravioli. That's a gong, HB. We don't have that anymore. Homemade cheese ravioli with homemade marinara sauce. Yeah, that's gong cilantro. Oh, thank you, thank you, thank you. It is very delicious. All right, guys and gals. That is it for tonight. Please, we're trying to grow our YouTube channel. If you've not gone and followed our YouTube, please go follow us on YouTube. Uh, there is a link at the bottom of our channel, or you can do the command socials. Please go follow us on Insta, YouTube. We're trying to get likes on our shorts on YouTube, and today we opened a TikTok. Uh, we're going to stop uh, uploading little clips to TikTok. Um, so uh, we'll put that info, we'll add that to the socials command. But come back tomorrow on Thursday, hang out with cilantro, uh, get in the queue, play some Fortnite. You never know who might show up. We might even see Mr. Jeffro tomorrow. Who knows? But um, just uh, go uh, check it out. And um, thank you guys. And I hope you have a wonderful night. Don't forget, tell somebody you love them.